I'm Franco Terrazano. I'm the federal director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, and we have a message for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Finance Minister Christia Freeland ahead of tomorrow's budget. Stop the tax hikes and stop the Member of Parliament pay raise. On April 1, MPs will take more money out of Canadians' pockets and stuff more money into their own. The carbon tax is going up, alcohol taxes are going up, and MP pay is also going up. MPs will take their fourth pay raise since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic on April 1. We estimate this year's pay raise will range from an extra $5,100 for backbench MPs all the way to an extra $10,200 for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. But Canadians overwhelmingly oppose the MP pay raise. Four out of five Canadians oppose the MP pay raise, according to Leger poll results commissioned by the CTF that we're releasing today. Stopping a pay raise isn't rocket science, especially when Canadians overwhelmingly oppose it. The Feds stopped MP pay raises between 2010 and 2013 in response to the 08-09 recession. BC recently froze pay for MLAs. Nova Scotia Premier Tim Hewson recalled the legislature, froze MLA pay, and then cut his own pay by $11,000. Here in Ottawa, backbench MPs currently collect a $189,500 salary. Trudeau collects a $379,000 salary from taxpayers. MPs don't deserve another raise, and MPs don't need another raise from their constituents who are struggling to fill the fridge. MPs especially don't deserve a raise when they make life unaffordable with tax hikes. The carbon tax will increase to 14 cents per litre of gasoline and 12 cents per cubic metre of natural gas on April 1. The carbon tax will cost the average family between $402 and $847 this year, even after the rebates, according to the Parliamentary Budget Officer. That's a couple weeks of groceries for a family of four, but it's being taxed away. On April 1, alcohol taxes will also go up by 6.3%. Canadians already pay half of the price of beer in tax. This tax hike will make beer, wine, and whiskey more expensive. It will also hurt small businesses like breweries and restaurants. This alcohol tax hike is fundamentally undemocratic. If politicians think that Canadians aren't paying enough tax, then they should at least have the spine to vote on the tax hike. But the government has increased this tax year after year without a vote in Parliament. That's undemocratic, and it's wrong. But this month, something happened. MPs voted on a motion calling on the government to scrap this year's alcohol tax hike. The motion passed with support from all opposition parties. The government needs to respect Parliament and cancel the alcohol tax hike. Many Canadians are struggling and cannot afford higher taxes. Many Canadians are deciding whether they can afford the package of ground beef or the jug of milk at the store. Canadians worry about losing their homes as mortgage payments go up. So here's how Trudeau and Freeland can make life a little more affordable and fair for taxpayers in tomorrow's budget. Stop MP pay hikes and stop the tax hikes.